Hey guys, it's Guthrie 9 here. Welcome back. Seven days to die. It's almost morning, and I am hanging out upstairs. I got some noise going on outside. I hope that doesn't come through too well in the audio, but it seems pretty consistent, so hopefully it will just be drowned out. It is now 6 a.m., which means the sun may have come up already. And... Yeah, you can close that from the bottom, but we don't really need it closed. Uh, I did a little bit off camera, got my inventory emptied again. And I went ahead and put some of my food downstairs in the refrigerator. Uh, make things a little more home-like. Uh, I may end up fortifying this place a bit. Uh, I'm bringing the sledgehammer with me because I want to try it out and see how good it is. Like, just from the numbers, it seems pretty good. But... Yeah, I want to try it out first, see how it actually holds up. Uh, small stone there. We need a few more stones. All oh, that noise out there is really bugging me. All right, so last time we were this city, found this spot right here, which was full of awesome stuff. So we're going to mark that, and I think we'll go back there and continue where we left off. Uh, though we do need to once again head out in search of an axe because we don't have one. But we might be able to make one sooner rather than later if we go into the Barnes and Nobles. Or Born and Noble, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Ah! Alright, I missed. Let's see if we can go in the back door in this building as well. So I haven't been down downstairs in the basement of this. And this might have a gun safe in it. Uh, actually, never mind. We're not even going to bother searching this place. Uh, let me go quickly back into our house. I'll just grab the pickaxe from upstairs. Come on, get up that stairs, or ladder, or whatever, whatever you want to call it. I want to bring the pickaxe with me, and I'll leave this behind. Take just the pickaxe. All right, good. Still have a lot of space in our inventory. That's what we wanted. And we'll go back outside. Uh, the reason I put things down in the refrigerator is mainly due to aesthetics, but it also has a, an added side effect that if I put everything that smells down there, then if zombies get, you know, the scent for this building, or if they start attacking based on scent, they'll go after the fridge and destroy the fridge and leave me alone, which is good. So then we won't die unnecessarily because zombies broke into the house and it'll give them a good distraction that should last long enough to where I can you know get get to morning time and then kill them but I will keep like some food upstairs in case I need to eat and I'll try to keep some food on my person which is a good idea in most circumstances uh, let's see about arrows. Arrow. Craft up all the arrows we can. Because we're going back into the town. And we don't know quite what to expect yet. Ooh. Made it all the way up that mountain. In one go. This is going pretty well, though. Uh, so far, we haven't died. <clears throat> so, you know, knock on wood for that, that we aren't dead yet. I was expecting that to happen a lot sooner, but so far we have not died. Oh, he already spotted me. I was going to get a stealth kill on you, and you decided to be rude. Uh, Painkiller I'll take, why not? Painkiller's good. 
heals you up. We don't have the super healing items yet. Yeah, you know, we'll just ignore you. We're heading to the town anyways. After this episode, I'm going to have to go make dinner. I've uh, recorded all of the episodes so far in one sitting, so this is the fourth episode in a row. So I've been recording for about probably like three or four hours straight. I missed. Turn it. Oh, it's raining. In the desert. It's not making any noise, but it's raining. I think that might just be me, though, because I've seen other people playing this and getting the, the full audio from the rain. Like, the rain is really loud for them. And I don't have, like, ambient noise turned down or anything. I have music turned down. In case, like, music pops in. But even then, like, I still get music. So I don't know what's going on. No idea why we don't hear the rain. <sighs> Alright, guys, we're gonna try to break into one of these. I think, at the very top, there should be good stuff. I am going to... No? I feel like every hit stuns me, though. Alright, good. Uh, no. I won't carry blueberry seeds around with me. Not right now, anyways. Alright. What do I need to repair this? Metal strips? Yes. We have no such thing. I'm gonna get rid of the... There we go. Now we can break through this with just the axe. It'll take a little while. But if we can get in here, it'll be worth it. We are undetected. I'm doing a good job. This town might actually be... Like, we might be clearing out entire sections of this town. Because I have been... I have been killing for days. Alright. Now, there's a lot of stuff to loot in these houses. Not a lot of it is worth our time. I will take that, but... You know, I should... I might as well, uh, take some of the low-hanging fruit. Ooh, that tree is not... not practically placed. I will take the end table and the end table. Because I want those in my house. I want that. Um... This is a bad sign. I think... When the barricade is this low down, it means that there's nothing good at the top. I wonder if I'm sensed. Nope. That will trash. Okay, is there more stairs up? Yes, there is. Big boy! Down the stairs. It was nice and dark up in here. It was a nice close quarters battle. I think you guys were, uh, were happy about that, hopefully. 
All right, so this is not the one with the good stuff in it. But it does have a bookcase. Sweet saucy pump shotgun. And we even have all the parts needed. Nice. Now I'm happy. Now I'm definitely happy. to work. Alright, this is looking a little bit more uh, good in that we've got double barricades. This is one of those fortified houses. That's the outside. Bathroom. Let's see, is anything good in the medicine cabinet? Anything good in the sink? I'll take a swift blood. It's not such a bad idea. Alright, let's get through this thing. That built back up. Come on, break. Right, axe out. Munitions chest. Nice. That's what we were looking for. And it gave us ammo. And it gave us a magnum frame. We got a thunderstorm going on outside in real life. Three months and two days later. I think we can get in there. Oh, I hear the plane. Oops, no, I don't want that. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. Do I have any beer on me? Alright, tell me I can find this. Oh, it's it's behind me. Nope, we lost it. I completely forgot about it. There it is! We have to go straight through the middle of town to get to it. sledgehammer out. Oh, it's not far away either. Should be able to get to that. At the very least, it doesn't look very far away. This yucca fruit should help. We can keep running for a long time with the yucca fruit. Gun out, or get my weapon out. 
We'll need to walk and catch our stamina. It was a little further off than I thought it would be. Let's see if I can just set the waypoint way out here. Get out of here. Head straight for that red dot thing. I tried to place the uh, map cursor as straight ahead as possible so we can try to find that care package. We had to run straight through town to get to it, but that's pretty dangerous. No! I didn't crouch, I ran! Healed up. More dogs in my way. Alright, where's that? Oh, it was right here. Alright, so we were going straight for it, so it was directly behind us. It was almost directly in line with the, uh, with the, uh, road, which is good, because then we can always use the road as a, a marking point. Whew. All right, we need to find that care package. Ow. So, okay, we're off center here a little bit. It needs to be exactly in line with the road, more or less. Because we can see it down the street, so that means it has to be in line with the road. That being said, I thought it was a lot closer. It looked a lot closer than, than this. Like, this is pretty far out. but it might be on the other side of this mountain. If it's not here, we'll start heading back and seeing if I missed it on the way forward. Alright, we've passed already. There it is. We didn't miss it. Alright, antibiotics, flaming arrows, lots of those, some medkits on the hot bar. Alright, we have cured ourselves of further in infection. Uh, we can drop this, actually. Alright. Let's head back to where we were. We did succeed though, we got our munitions chest, it gave us some ammo, it wasn't great, but you know, it was it was something. And the care package this time was a medical care package, so we got some medical stuff, which is good. Got ourselves some medical supplies.
Right, take some of that. I don't need the rotting flesh. Thank you. Make some more of these. Craft ourselves some arrows. I wonder what the flaming arrow is like. Flaming arrow sounds really fun. Sounds like something I could get into a lot of trouble with, too. Which is also something I, I totally approve of. Get some more aloe plants. We don't really need those right now. We're, we're pretty good on healing equipment. And we just got first aid kits, which we can do this with. Clear. And we're done. So the uh, first aid kits are really key. That's something I've been looking forward to getting. I think I was talking about them in the previous episode with much envy. Very happy to have that. Alright, we're back to the city. And it was uh, like I thought it was. The, a lot of the, the crappy buildings, like the broken buildings, are along the outside. And then you have the better buildings when you go further in. Alright, I think... I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing alright this time. Our, uh... We got antibiotics to deal with our cold. Which is also good. Have I searched these? No, I have not. want to avoid... the cops a little bit. Go. I didn't panic, it's okay. Iron arrowhead. Uh we already have mini bike wheels. I don't know if those are better than the ones we have, but we have them. Alright, there's our born and noble. Our objective for today, which we've spent a very long time getting to, actually. Paper. Congrats. Nothing. Also congrats. Alright. We've already got that one. Uh, we'll do drop on it. Uh, we got that one. We'll drop that as well. Uh, the reason I'm dropping them is if you empty these, they can respawn at a later date. Uh, though I do think that I have set it, the respawn timer to like 30 days or something. Ridiculous like that. So it might not... You spawn in any reasonable amount of time. What the heck is that? Is that a tree glitching through the wall? Like some kind of spider monster. I was kind of concerned. Didn't know they added a spider monster to the game. They totally should, though. Right, we learned a new recipe. Uh, book. Who'd have thought you'd find a book at a bookstore? Book. I like that they've added that you can now actually turn, like, recipes and stuff, like this, into paper, just like a normal book. Oh, I picked up a shopping basket. Uh, I'll take it. 
Wow, a great shopping basket! <laughs> that was amazing! This shopping basket is amazing! It cures all of my, my ales. What am I opening? I read the pistol book, everybody. Now we're talking. Now we can make a lot of stuff. I hope that instead of schematics, they actually make, like, books for all of the schematics. I mean, I like the schematics. Don't get me wrong. They, they are vastly superior, but it is kind of fun to see the books. You know, if they can make the book names intuitive enough to where you can actually remember if you've gotten them or not, then it's not a, bad, a big deal. It's not a bad thing. One thing I don't like about cities are all those darn bugs and noises. This thing is making noises. Bugs outside are making noises. Everybody's got to make noises. Bridge. Bridge. All right. We got everything. I think we have officially cleared out the bookstore, guys. Good job, everybody. And we can now craft a ton of different weapons. Among other things, we can actually craft a pistol. Uh, notice the flashlight is red. Uh, the flashlight is not necessary to craft an item. It's just something you can put on your gun as an add-on. Which means you can... You can put together the gun even without the flashlight, but adding the flashlight allows you to, well, have a flashlight. You know, it's, a, it's the added bonus of having a flashlight. Kinda need your fat, friend. Thank you. Tallow is good for, for making stuff. Um, let's see. Shamway Foods. We haven't actually been in the food store. That's a beer. Uh, I don't think we actually need to go into the food store, because food is pretty easy to come by in this game, believe it or not. Uh, let's go back into this place, now that we're slightly more confident in our abilities. Because there was one box that I didn't open. May have been more, but mainly just this one. And there is the off chance that we might get an axe. Nope, just a bunch of wood frames. I won't complain about it. The flame, wood frames are pretty useful. Do I have any more pipes to break? Guess we won't be able to break that on any reasonable amount of time anyways. And we only have a reasonable amount of time. Let's get back outside. Uh, let's see if, if I can quickly pinpoint the gas station. Uh, which one of these is the gas station? Is it this one? I think it is. What you doing? We've got a couple zombies left in town. We're doing a good job of thinning the herd, though. We are doing a good job of thinning the herd. 
Now, there isn't anything really good in here, so I'm not going to go in. And I do not recall, I do not think we actually got... Alright, there's the gas station over there. This is where we marked, though. And... Drop. Drop. So we don't need those. Alright, now we got into trouble and had to run out last time. But... It might be different this time. Who knows? Alright. We need to repair this. And I want to see if I can find a, a pipe or something. A dead corpse. And all of your bullets and some shotgun shells. That might help. Alright, we've been in there. Don't know of any pipe in the area, unfortunately. Alright, we're gonna go downstairs real quick and see if I can find some iron pipe. Because if we can, we'll be able to make this a lot easier for ourselves. Can of salmon. Oh, okay. Also, it's kind of getting nighttime, which is kind of bad. So I think we might end up spending the night in town, rather than going home. That's okay, that means I can spend the night in here, just going through everything. Where are the faulty shades? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. That right there was worth every penny. Every penny. Please break. One. We need a little bit more, though. Oh, coffee beans. Why not? I'll take the splint. Oh my. Oh, this actually does pretty well on this. We won't be able to get through those iron bars in there, though, unfortunately. Get some scrap iron, though. It'd have been easier to go through the other way. Nah, we won't be able to go through there. In any reasonable amount of time, anyways. Let's head back upstairs. Um, actually, what I could do is call it an episode here, and I could just off-camera me digging through this for like three hours straight. And then in the next episode, we can head home, pick up some rocks, and start forging. There are a lot of loudness going on outside. A little, a little scared, but for the most part, I think I will be able to survive just by doing this. Lock that off. 
And is there another way up? I believe that is the only way they can get out. Salmon. Oh, that's pretty good. We've got some food. We've got our... And our health up. We've got lots of med kits on us. I think we might just well survive the night. Let's repair this up as much as possible. Alright, I'm gonna call it an episode here, guys. I'm gonna say we did pretty good, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.